Got a huge storm rolling through right now. There's a huge water spout out there. Right now on News 4 at 10, severe storms roll through western New York. We have live team coverage as we track the path of the storm. Andrew? Although things are settling down tonight, Jackie, those storms earlier this afternoon came really in two rounds. But now we look ahead into the weekend. We have a little more unsettled weather to get to in your 4-1 forecast. And those severe thunderstorms cause a lot of damage in South Buffalo. We'll show you some of the cleanup process next. Oh, what a way to end the week. Severe storms packed a punch today across western New York. The storms knocked down trees and power lines, and now people are left cleaning up the mess. Good evening to you. I'm Jackie Walker in for Nalina tonight. A severe thunderstorm watch expired just about an hour ago, but our weather worries aren't quite over yet. We have team coverage for you tonight. News 4's Rachel Bon Jovi is speaking with homeowners affected by these storms. But first, we get you right to your forecast with Andrew Baglini, who's watching a lakeshore flood warning for tomorrow, right, Andrew? That's right, Jack Jackie. We have uh, more unsettled weather ahead, and it's all because of these storms that we saw tonight. And you know, it was a true summer week. We saw thunderstorms every day. Now our weather pattern is shifting big time as we head into tomorrow. Not going to feel much like summer, and we're going to have the wind to contend with. But what an afternoon. We saw a couple rounds of storms moving in. Some great viewer photos of that. That we're coming into our newsroom. This one from Heather showing those thunderstorm clouds moving in. This is up in Wilson looking out over the water. Uh, at times we did see some localized flooding from some of the uh, heavy downpours that hit some of the same areas. This on Ridge Road and, Buff and Buffalo. Thank you, Colin, for this. Uh, didn't see any flash flood warnings, but oh, it was an active afternoon. Check out the beautiful colors, though. Over Falls as we saw the sunset, it was absolutely spectacular. Look at this, just seeing almost a rainbow of colors as we lose the daylight. Absolutely spectacular. So it was a very pretty end to your Friday evening. The rain is moving out of Buffalo. The thunderstorms, the strong thunderstorms, are really over. We were just dealing with some rain uh, in downtown, and that actually uh, caused the Bison's game to end early. I believe they got through five innings of play, but hey, the Bison's won, and that's what's important. In the southern tier, where we did have that watch a little bit longer. Still a few rumbles of thunder rolling through Allegheny County with some heavy downpours along the 86 and some rain, the back edge of which clearing 219 in Cattaraugus County. The rain will continue to move east and then will dry things out uh, for the most part overnight with just a few spotty showers coming off of Lake Erie. Temperatures are cooling off and it will be a nice night to sleep with the windows open and we'll continue to see a breeze picking up overnight. Already seeing some stronger gusts towards Long Point. The winds definitely going to be a bit of an issue moving forward. So again, the rain exiting behind it with that breeze and cooler air could see a little bit of a lake response. Maybe some showers popping up, especially across the higher elevation by tomorrow morning. So the strong storms are over, showers moving off to the east, but now we have the wind, and as Jackie mentioned, a lakeshore flood warning for Niagara and Orleans County. I'll tell you all about that coming up in your full 401 forecast. And as Andrew said, all day and night we have been getting some great reported photos from our viewers, seeing the storm through your eyes. Neil Gates sent us this panoramic photo from Niagara Falls facing Canada. And here's a view of a water spout from a highland on the lake near Derby. William Regan sent us this dramatic photo earlier this afternoon. We're also getting a lot of pictures of damage from the storm. This is from Dash Street in Buffalo. You can see a tree uprooted in that area. And neighbors in South Buffalo started a cleanup process. We're told that was one of the areas hit the hardest by the severe thunderstorms. News 4's Rachel Monjovi continues our team coverage now with more on the damage that she has seen. Rachel? Well, Jackie, not once, but twice. Did these storms cause a mess for homeowners, especially in South Buffalo? A lot of the streets there are just covered in debris. There were downed trees and power lines, but the cleanup process has already begun. Yeah, I was really surprised that they got to us this fast, really, because I know uh, the mayor had said that it was about 70 trees down in Buffalo. People living in Buffalo are cleaning up after today's severe thunderstorms. Heavy rain and strong winds caused damage across South Buffalo. Fallen trees could be seen lying across streets and sidewalks. Some fell on homes. I heard it uh, and I went running because I was like, oh my goodness, I really hope 
Nothing was hit. A few streets over, homeowners dealt with downed power lines on their property. Sean Siminski says he came home to see firefighters on his lawn. He says the power lines caught fire after part of a tree fell. I thought my house was on fire when I first came home, so it, it was a shock. I was grateful that it was just the tree that fell on the power line. And Siminski says while crews were cutting easy. down trees, yeah, cable and phone lines tree. were damaged. Yeah, he and his neighbor are left cleaning up the mess. I've been in contact with the city for almost two years now to get this tree taken down that was the cause of the problem, and it's still standing two years later. Don't know where I'm going to park my car tonight. Neighbors say they're used to dealing with snowstorms every year, but this kind of weather is unusual. I mean, we get high winds in that, but none of, none of the velocity that I experienced today. <laughs> Definitely insane. Never really seen damage like that, except for like the October storm. I mean, it's Buffalo. Things happen. This or snow. And officials are reminding people if you do still see a downed power line, not to touch it. And if there is still a downed tree that hasn't been taken care of, you can call 311 for help. We're live tonight. Rachel Monjovi, News 4 at 10. Thank you, Rachel. And if today's storms weren't enough, we also learned about another confirmed tornado that touched down during serious storms two weeks ago. The National Weather Service confirms a fourth tornado touched down in Rushford on July 20th. Three others were previously confirmed in Hamburg, Holland, and Angelica. The National Weather Service says the Rushford tornado was not as strong as the others, reaching a maximum of 85 miles an hour. And today's storms also cause problems for the Buffalo Bills. They practiced for the first time this season at New Era Field, but a little later than they had planned, the Bills delayed this afternoon's practice and told fans to leave the stadium seats or stay in their cars until the worst of the storm had passed. But the team eventually took the field, and their coach hopes that they can learn from this experience. That's an important part of, of a good football team and a good team in general that we can uh, be adaptable to whatever situation is in front of us. And this one's no different. It's a good, good opportunity for us to, uh, to uh, you know, check in on that end of things and make sure that uh, we can handle sometimes little challenges that come up along the way. The Bills return to St. John Fisher College for a training camp practice on Sunday. Their first preseason game, if you can believe it, is coming up on Thursday night. Well, next on News 4 at 10, a murder case against a Dunkirk woman is moving forward. We have the latest on the Rebecca Ruiz case.